the heavy rain, and then there's also a threat of wind and maybe even hail with severe weather. Right. All right, new this morning, Houston could see another round of big thunderstorms today. A reasonable two and a half inches of rain fell on Wednesday, allowing Houston to dodge major flooding. New this morning, south towns of the metro, though, didn't fare so well. They are mopping up today after a Texas-sized soaker. You might remember Houston saw serious flooding in early May. More than 200 high water rescues then. Kids were stranded at schools, remember that? But believe it or not, after all the rain, Houston's total for 2019 is actually right on the money. 19 and a quarter inches, and that is exactly average. Jim, we never get to exactly average. No, but what makes average? Right, a little above, a little below. Is this flooding going to stop? I mean, I was looking at some of the gauges, and Steph, it's like now the, the Baton Rouge one, the 18th is where the gauge was out to. It's still at it's major floods. Right. I mean, this and is... And it's not just going to drop off. And it's not just going to off right it's, it's very slow moving there's a lot of water still yet to move downstream the rainfall the year-to-date rainfall tells part of the story a big part of the story it's off the chart rain so look at our look at our guide up here our legend 30 inches plus is in that light gray color and you, you see that but then you see next level blue happening here this is the year-to-date rainfall tremendous rain and of course the snow melt from earlier season all led to um, the flooding that we are seeing and it's a dangerous waiting game as an economical economically struggling city in Arkansas deals with what could be record flooding reporter Robert Ray is in Pine Bluff where the community has lost the battle with rising water Right. Now, I saw pictures right. from the outage gym. It looked like the bars were still hopping. So uh, maybe they were just trying to clean out the saying. beer, right? The refrigerators uh, without, without power. Saying. They just wanted to, yeah, clean them out. All right, let's get you traveling today. If you are heading out this morning, we got some low clouds and rain in the northeast, so keeping an eye on all the airports there. We also have a large area with showers and storms. And, you know, one of the, I think, the more common delays we will see today is that there's thunderstorms overhead at the airport. Even if there's not, like, a ground stop or ground delay, you'll get into some delays because they got to pull all the crews off the tarmac when there is lightning. So that could happen today in Houston, also um, maybe in Atlanta, although I think it'd be more showery than um, storms with lightning. Uh, New Orleans, though, we've got thunderstorms in the forecast. Jackson, Mobile, Birmingham, Nashville all have the chance for thunderstorms. But looks good in Chicago and eventually looks better in New York City, although we have, again, those low clouds this morning. Let me talk more about what's happening here in the Northeast because we don't have a lot of active weather, but just enough to start our day on a bad note here with rain. It is raining right now in Boston. I-95 is wet here in Eastern Mass and also up here in the parts of Maine as well. But it's really just this morning, and it's, it's, there's not even a lot of rain, but we just have some. Most of it's offshore. Very light rain right now in Boston. A little steadier in your commute coming down 93 uh, as you make your way out of New Hampshire. But it's, you know, by later this morning, it's pretty much out of here. A couple of showers may linger across southeastern Massachusetts, but overall improving travel into the afternoon. Steph. All right, let's take... Especially in southern Appalachia. And that you can be a problem. And you said it. This, this whole system doesn't need the sun. It's going to create... It does not. No, it doesn't. It's you don't need the, the sun instability. for instability. And without the sun, the sun's like, well, I'm out of here then. I'm checking out. I'm not needed. <laughs> right. um, and we got so much rainfall and not a lot of sun with it. It's not like we're going to have, you know, convective showers building up with the sun sort of driving that. A lot of cloud cover and temperatures are going to be held down by that. So let's look at that angle. When we see the forecast for tomorrow, highs only in the low 80s in Atlanta. Well, a week ago, we were talking about what, mid-90s? mid, mid 90s? I mean, you're sweating just as soon as you step out the door. So big changes. But then around it, around this upper level low, we're going to have the heat. Look at Minneapolis, 88 degrees. Look at Corpus Christi, 99 degrees. A huge change is coming tomorrow. Once we kick out the rain, Corpus Christi, we are going up with temperatures. And it's not just the actual number on the thermometer. It's the heat index. And that's going to be above 100 degrees across central and south Texas. So that's another concern. Look at Atlanta on Saturday, only 80, struggling to get out of the 70s. And the same thing on Sunday, Steph. Gee, so what we see yeah. on the radar is what we're going to continue to yes, see, right? exactly. Yeah. All the way through. Really in between. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, yeah we'll, talk, we'll be chatting about this in the next commercial break, no doubt. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at um, your forecast for traveling today. Will we get into any of those sort of rainbow afternoons? I'm not so sure. We might actually just have too much in the way of cloud cover. We've got rain to start your day. Uh, it's been heavy already in Mississippi, so if you're traveling right along Interstate 20, be ready for that in Jackson to start. More to come in possible severe weather here, too. And then eventually we get into the rain in Birmingham. That'll actually be on the increase throughout the day. It may take until this afternoon and even this evening to get the heavy stuff into Georgia, but you'll be in and out of sort of the showery activity as we, uh, you know, get through the entire day today here in the Atlanta Metro, Birmingham. Look at Nashville. Already we've got music kicking off this morning. I think um, Billy Currington is the first one for the CMA Music Fest to do some, uh, some onstage stuff this morning at the uh, Riverfront stage. And you've got rain coming in even as early as 
this morning, but then continuing off and on through the afternoon. Jim. And Jen, our boy Luke Combs is up there in Nashville. Yes, yes, I, he I is. Could see, I yeah. guess I saw him getting ready. L at least. And Jim, I saw it sort of gets another uptick, right? Because, of course, the Arkansas water is coming yeah, in. And come so, look, it is, it is at least, I think, through the, through the end of the month in major. Um, all right. Uh, Baton Rouge, by the way, we do have some rain coming on here with this. Lafayette, Mike Seidel is here live this morning, and um, we'll be talking to him in the next couple of hours. It is pouring out there. He picked up 1.9 inches of rain in just 30 minutes. Minutes. You step outside, it's like, oh wait, um, am I getting a shower? I mean, it's it's that kind of rain, just so heavy, um, and that's falling right now. It, luckily, it is moving, but. Um I'll be a little bit slowly. By 9, 10 o'clock, it's moving east. It'll be in Baton Rouge, and I see no reason why we wouldn't still have that kind of potential of heavy rainfall. Nothing's really changing in the atmosphere. We have all this reciprocal water to work with, so when it rains, it's going to pour, as uh, our buddy Luke Combs sings about. We've got showers out there through the afternoon. Now, a lot of the activity, I think, will be heading east at this point, but we still stay in a scattered regime here around New Orleans and even Baton Rouge. We can't rule out a couple of showers or thunderstorm as we get into the evening, too. Rainfall amounts. Widespread one two but if you get into this you know a one or two inch uh, rainfall or even three or four inch rainfall right in an hour it could be occasionally heavier than that so that's going to be the background setting for what's happening here across Louisiana and Mississippi as well Mobile we're in it this morning we'll be in and out of it right through the entire day today Steph. All right. For a really long time. That's Even, part of that you know, problem. looking at Arkansas, the Arkansas River in western Arkansas has crested and it's falling. It's just falling so excruciatingly slow. It's yeah. still in major flood stage. We've got 56 gauges in major right now. 56 are going to still be major in the next five days. So this is a, certainly a long live event by, by many different measures. And you just look at the rainfall. This is the rainfall so far in 2019. It is literally off the charts. Our chart, our color chart goes to that light gray, which is 30 plus inches of rain. We're at the blue level here in Arkansas, Mississippi, um, and portions of Missouri. So big rain, of course, is factored into the flooding and, and all the snow melt that we had earlier in the season as well. Families are putting their lives. But I think the Casey Musgraves rainbow song, I, we got to use that one day. You know, there's always a rainbow over your head. The skies have finally cleared or anyway. Um, let's take a look at your forecast for today. And uh, I don't think you're going to be doing a lot of rainbow chasing in the afternoon. I think there's going to be too many clouds to have a good rainbow in the afternoon, uh, early evening. You have to have some clearing out there and get some sun. We're just going to be pretty locked in. Today in the south, we've got rain already on I-20 from Jackson to Birmingham. It's been especially heavy to the west of town. Look at this rain right now. So Jackson, we're in a bit of a break. There's showers around, but not as heavy as it once was. But this rain has been spreading in, and we're going to see more of that right through the evening and even overnight. Look at the Atlanta area. Look at Nashville. Big weekend in Nashville with CMA Fest going on. We'll be in and out of showers throughout pretty much the entire weekend, Jim and Steph. All right. So As we start to wrap up the show, we have a little treat for everybody. We had a haboob that blew through the northwest portion forms, and then we're actually going to show it to you on radar, which is super Phenomenal. cool. So you need dry and dusty areas. That's why usually we see it in the yeah. deserts. And West Texas is, you know, in general, yeah, pretty exactly. dry. Pretty yeah. dry there. So, of course, you get updrafts. That's going to suspend your pocket of rain and all different sorts of particles, right? Yeah. But and then you, you get some evaporation, too, which helps, like, dry this big cold outburst of outflow, and it just moves, and it picks up everything in its path. So there's the gust front. Yeah. And you get this wall of dust. It can be as high as 10,000 feet. Okay, so we can actually show you that gust front that kicked it out so here's Lubbock here's the radar right in there's the gust front right so we're gonna tilt this up for you you know and a lot of these thunderstorms are at least let's say at least 30 maybe 40,000 feet look right? I mean the thunderstorm is tall this oh, is all thunderstorm. That. This is a gust front. You can't actually see the dust on the radar no. on this one. It's with the gust front. But it's right there along the gust front. And that's where we saw yeah. visibility, quarter, zero, up to 70 mile an hour winds, Whew. too. I mean, this is really tough for driving because not only are you in low visibility, but the wind is buffeting your car. Exactly. Jim. Today marks the 75th anniversary.